As per the National Wildlife Action Plan guidelines, every coastal state needs to establish a coastal and marine ecosystem cell, which no state except Maharashtra has made. In Karnataka, we have around 2,400 acres of mangroves, also under threat. The implementation of these cells lies with Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and respective state forest departments. However, considerable number of mangroves lie on revenue and private land. In that case, conservation by forest departments becomes difficult. The enforcement is a problem. Because most places, uh, the forest department has been has not been given uh, the powers to you know administer the Environmental Protection Act. Uh, because of that, uh, you know they are powerless. And then who takes care of the enforcement? It is generally the you know revenue authorities who are burdened with so many other things. As per the mangrove ecologist, when sea level rises, landward mangroves will be at the most threat due to high anthropogenic activities in the area. Threats like agriculture expansion, linear infrastructure and permaculture are the major threats. When the sea level increases, the obviously the sea front, the mangroves at the sea front will have the opportunity to move towards the land. For the landward mangroves, they have to move towards the human side, towards the uh, uh, landward side. That means most of the landward side, if you see, having a high anthropogenic pressures. In some states, the mangrove forests have been transferred under reserve forest category under the Indian Forest Act, but such areas under forest department is very limited. Also, terrestrial forest officers are sometimes transferred to coastal areas without proper training. Holistic planning of coastal zone, uh, looking after the drivers of mangrove loss, uh, addressing the challenges that are experienced in that area, and forth communication be between these uh, multiple entities and, and agencies be a good place to start. Power of enforcement to forest officers with creation of coastal management cell should be prioritized. This is Paridhi Jain, CityCast, Bangalore.